uh, 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 key. Amen. What, what, what God is calling you to do. All of us here have, have, have a calling. Amen. How many know we all have a purpose here? And we're not just here by mistake. Amen. If you have a hunger for this truth, if you have a hunger for this word, if you have something inside you that just wants to get closer to God, you know, that's something that God placed there. Amen. That's something that the Lord put there. Sometimes we take that for granted, but it takes a special touch of grace. Amen. To want to hear this kind of truth and want to strive to really get in there. And I just thank God that God's not allowing us to be deceived. If it's okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to talk a little bit before I read scriptures. I just thank God he's not allowing us to be deceived. You know, if these people could be so bold and drive five and six and seven hundred miles to try to, to tear down what God is bringing up, then we need to be more bold and stand up against that spirit. We need to be more, more bold in the spirit and stand up against it. Amen. If the devil can come two and three hundred miles, a hundred miles, amen, to try to bring you down, to try to tear you down, to try to tear your brothers down, your sisters down, to try to tear your pastor down, to try to tear what God is, you know God has put us here. Amen. Then you don't just stay on the sidelines watching somebody else take the punishment. You got to get in the ring and you got to fight also. Amen. You got to do what, what, what can I do? Well, you can stand up and you can say no. You can stand up and say, I'll bind that devil. You can stand up and say, that's a lie from the pits of hell. You can, there's something that you can't do. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't let the devil deceive you. Don't never think that there's nothing that, 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 that can fall on your lot. Amen. Because how many know we're all one body? Many members, but we're all one body. But we're all equally important. Everyone here has a purpose. We're all important to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want to get that off my chest. Hallelujah. I don't take kindly to nobody talking bad about my brothers and sisters in here. We all love each other. Hallelujah. We all been trained and, we, and, and the word has been precept upon precept, line upon line. We know what we're getting here. Hallelujah. I'm not confused one bit. Amen. Not even a little second. I'm not confused. We get too much scriptures and too much word being rolled out here with the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. And then God unveiling, behold the Lamb of God and that ministry and that rock and that foundation. Hallelujah. Can't do nothing with that. That's all I'm just going to need that. You can't do nothing with that foundation. Thank you, Jesus. And that's the foundation I want to talk about tonight. I will not be moved. I shall not be moved. I don't care what comes my way. I don't care what the devil is drumming up. I don't care what he's trying to do through my loved ones. I don't care. I don't care what he's trying to do with my job. It doesn't matter. I will not be moved. Hallelujah. We will not be moved. Hallelujah. Let's open up to Psalm 62. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 62. And I'm not going to hold you long, but I, am gonna, I want to read these few scriptures. I believe it's going to be a blessing to us. Amen. You know, you're, you're stronger than you think. Amen. You got more than what you think. Amen. There's, there's something that's invested inside of you that intimidates the devil. There's something that God spoke and placed over your life that intimidates the devil. That's why he always seeks to try to bully you. He don't want you to know what you got. But how many know God is leading us into that place where we're going to we're going to grow to that full, full, mature stature of Jesus Christ in Him. We're going to grow into that. We're going to become mature. And that's what He's doing through these services. And that's what He's doing through these prayer nights. That's what He's doing when we come together. That's what He, that's what he does when you're receiving the Word. Every time you open it up your heart. Amen. He's causing that growth inside of you. Hallelujah. He's causing that maturity to be formed inside of you. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 62. And let, let's, read, let's read at verse 6. Let's read, let's read 5. My soul, wait thou only upon God. For my expectation is from Him. 
He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Amen. How many know that when we have such a firm foundation, we have such a, a strong rock, we have such a such a God that's beneath us. The devil cannot do nothing with us. Amen. He comes to try to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He comes to try to take your eyes off of the prize. He comes to try to distract you. But if you're not distracted and you stay firm on the word that you've been taught and on the word that you've been seated with, amen, you will not be moved. Amen. Let's open up to Jeremiah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How many believe that we will not be moved? Hallelujah. We ain't going nowhere. The devil ain't, ain't, ain't driving us away. Amen. He ain't scattering us. He ain't causing us to, to be in confusion. He's not causing us, hallelujah, to, to take flight and go running. Amen. What he's doing is he's causing us to see what we have inside of us. What he's doing is he's like, wait, why does the devil keep on trying to attack me? Why he keep on trying to talk about this and that? Amen. How many knows that we're not to be ignorant of Satan's devices? Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall what? Her leaf shall what? And shall not be careful in the year of what? Of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Amen. I'm here to tell you that you're going to keep going. Hallelujah. We're going to keep on moving for God. Hallelujah. I believe this year, hallelujah, some of us are going to enter into what God has called us to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if it's a season of drought. It doesn't matter what the obstacles or the situation or the circumstance appears. Hallelujah. It don't matter if, it's, if the ground looks like it's dried up. Hallelujah. We got some roots that is tapped into the rivers. We got something inside of us. Hallelujah. That's connected. Hallelujah. To the river of life. And it doesn't matter. Hallelujah. If the sun is scorching. Hallelujah. We're going to yield our fruit. Hallelujah. In season and out of season. We're going to do what God called us to do. No matter what happens. Hallelujah. There is something inside of you that's pulling. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 24. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Matthew 24. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many know you matter to God? How many know you matter to God? Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what part of the body you are. You know, the, the parts that can't be seen are the parts that are, that are more vital. Your heart. You can't see your heart. But how many know you can live without a foot? Or you can live maybe without a hand? You can live without maybe maybe one, uh, one of your kidneys. But if they take that heart out of you, you will not live. And that heart cannot be seen. But yet, it is the most important part of the body. And how many know that some of us here that are sitting down, that don't even know, hallelujah, that we are the heart of God. We are that part that can be seen, but it, the, the body can't operate without us, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor never shall be. But listen to verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But, but, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. I'm here to tell you that it doesn't matter. God is going to make a way. He's, 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 he's bound and determined to make a way for you. Hallelujah. Right here, if, even if he has to shorten the days, even if he has to do what he has to do, hallelujah, he's going to cause us, hallelujah. How I many know we are those elect? He's going to cause us to overcome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We know perse persecution is coming. We know all these things are upon us. We know that the, you know, uh, the, the, you know, we have these accusations and the, it's going to get worse than just words. How many know we're, we're going to suffer for righteousness sake? That we're, we're literally going to have to give us our, 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 our lives in some cases uh, for God. Just because it's not happening here, it doesn't mean it's not coming. We know it's coming. We can hear the horses already riding. We can see the the, the, the the foundation being laid for the persecution of the church with everything that's going on in our government and all that's happening, hallelujah, it's only going to intensify. It's only going to get worse. I know as, as human nature, we look for things to get better. We look for things to get, but how many know there's just some things that's going to have to come to pass in the world. Amen. It's going to be out of our control. But how many know God will make a way? Hallelujah. When I was reading that scripture, I thought about that scripture in Deuteronomy. Uh, I think it's chapter 32. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. So good. Deuteronomy 32, it's verse 10. And he found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. But look at that. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye, as an eagle stirred up her nest and fluttered over her young and spread it aboard her wings, taking them and buried them on her wings. God has already made a way for us. He's already, he's already, he's already done it. And man, how many know we just have to, we just have to let him flow to us. We just have to let him, hallelujah, stand up inside of us. We just have to let him lead us. It says he, 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 he led him. Amen. How many know those that are led by the Spirit of God, those shall be called the sons of God. If we can just allow God to lead us in our trials, if we can just allow God to take us in the way that he wants to take us, amen, you'll see that that trial or that, or that problem that come your way just came to strengthen your faith. It come to make you stronger. It come to make you more sharper. It come, you might, you might, you know, when, when a boxer, when, when, when he's kind of cold and he's not heated up yet, you know, sometimes he, he, he'll get a right uh, to his head. And what does he do? Automatically, he starts kind of guarding himself. Amen? He don't just put his hands down like this and just keeps boxing. Uh-uh. You get hit in your face one time, you're going to put your hands up. You're going to be like, okay, I'm not going to get hit again. I ain't going to get hit again. Amen. That's what God's asking us to do. He's asking us to, to quit putting our hands down on the 
devil's coming and trying to fight in the corner. He's trying to push you. He's trying to push you around. He said, come on, put your hands up and fight. Come on, hit back. God can you something to hit the devil back. God, God put something inside of you to push those spirits out of your children. God put something inside of you, hallelujah, to get you out of the situation that you're in, hallelujah. You just got to put your hands up. You got to remember to put your hands up and start swinging. Start swinging, hallelujah. Start swinging, hallelujah. Take back, hallelujah, that intimidation that sometimes when you're in the ring that that other boxer gives you. Sometimes there's an intimidation coming back and forth. Hallelujah. And he might give you a good stiff one there. It might kind of take a little bit of your, of your confidence. But how many know you, you, you can't draw back? God said he has no pleasure on them that draw back. He has no pleasure on them that, and that draw back. You have to put your hands up and just start swinging as hard as you can. Start in the flesh, and you're going to end up in the spirit. Hallelujah. Somewhere God will get inside of that. Hallelujah. Somewhere that word, hallelujah, will come to your mind, and you can quote them scriptures, and you can push the devil back with that word. Hallelujah. That's why we're being seated in here. That's why we come on Monday nights and pray the word. That's why we come Saturday morning. Hallelujah. We don't come to church just come to church. Hallelujah. We, we're getting something to fight the devil with. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many know there's a people that's going to make it? I said there's a people that's going to make it. Hallelujah. And if you stay shielded underneath the protection of this word, and you don't allow your minds to be swayed or deceived, and you know what I'm talking about, you stay, stay with the scripture, stay with the truth. Hallelujah. We're going to be part of that only that makes it. First of Peter, hallelujah. Chapter 1, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to give everything that I put down, but I'm, I'm going to give a little bit more. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. He is so good. Sometimes, hallelujah, we don't know. The smallest one among us might be a Mike Tyson. I'm telling you, when it comes to God, hallelujah, how many know when, it, when that giant spoke to David, everyone thought that the odds were stacked up against them. Because in the natural, it looked, that he's so big and David's so small. But how many know that it's not by mind, not by power, but it's by the Holy Ghost. Amen? It's by getting in and praying. And quoting the scriptures like we're doing here tonight. First Peter chapter 1. And I'll, I'll read from verse, uh, I'll say 3. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy, hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible, under fire, that what? Faded not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by what? The power of God. Who are kept by the power of God, through faith, unto salvation, ready to be what? Revealed. Ready to be revealed. Ready to be manifested. Yes. How many know the earth is it, it as it grown for the manifestations of the sons of God? Well, what do you think God's been doing, hallelujah, all this time? He's been getting us ready for some revealing, some manifestation, hallelujah. He's been getting us ready, hallelujah, for this last day, this last hour. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let's read, let's read Revelations 14, 6 and 8. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Revelations 14. I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to them that dwell on the earth, to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. 
saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him. For the hour of His judgment is come. And worship Him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. How many know we have entered into that judgment and there followed another angel saying Babylon fallen is fallen that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of a wrath of a fornication and then we read about the mark of the beast we read about about the wrath of God we read about all these things that's coming like a flood but how many know I shall not be moved. Amen. We shall not be moved. As a people, hallelujah, as a church, we shall not be moved. Let's read Hebrews 12 and 26. Thank you, Jesus. I just have a few more and then I'll be done. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many receiving the word tonight? Thank you, Jesus. God is so good, hallelujah. Hebrews 12 and 26, whose, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he had promised saying, yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word yet once more signified the removing of those things that are what? That are shaken. As of the things that are made, that those things which cannot what be shaken may remain. I said that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore we receive in a kingdom that what cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence. And with godly fear. Amen. How many know we're not just in any old thing. We're in a kingdom that can't be shaken. That can't be moved. Amen. And as long as. Amen. It says when you hear his words. And you do them. He said he likened, likened you unto a man. That built his house upon a rock. Amen. And the winds came. And the rains came. And the storm came. But what? That house stood. It didn't fall. And that's what I'm encouraging you tonight. That if you do the things which are being preached to you, taught to you, trained to you, given to you, you will not fall. You will not be moved. Amen. We're reading John chapter 10, 27. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is so good. Yes. He is so, so good. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read John 10 and 27. It says, we go on one verse before it, but ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And that's what we're doing with this Lamb of God ministry. That's why it's touched each of every one of our hearts. I know everyone here could have went a different route, an easy route, another way, uh, a, 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 a shortcut. And, but there's something inside of us that responds to that truth. And that's because you belong to God. Amen. That means you belong to God. And I just want to say a few more things. God has given us, God is wanting us to redeem the time. How many know the time is already far spent? But he's wanting us to redeem the time. The time is already gone. But he's given us an opportunity to get some oil in our vessels. He's given us an opportunity to, 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 to fill us up now. And then we can't wait until the, 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 the catastrophe we can't wait until that big thing happens. We, we ought to not wait.
to something big to shake us, to cause us to get some oil in our vessels. I mean, we want to be among the, the wise versions. We want to be among the obedient. When we hear that voice, when he's saying that we're getting ready to do some fasting, we're getting ready to do some praying, if, 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 if we're obedient to that voice, he'll start putting that oil inside of us. And not only that oil enough for the present, but oil enough for what we're fixing to go through. Oil enough to, to, to endure. And then it says, to them that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. I mean, no, you can't endure unto the end unless you got a full tank of gas. And man, you can't get to where you're going on empty. Hallelujah. You might get around the block. Hallelujah. But somewhere, that car is going to stall out on you. And you're going to look at that little light that you hate. It's going to be on. I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas. That, that's what God is trying to do among us. He's trying to get us our tank filled. He's trying not just to fill our tank. He's trying to put some extra for what we're going to face. And I just encourage everyone to get in here. To back each other up. Back the pastor up. Back whoever is God puts in the front here. And let's start binding together. Let's start these days that God is going to grant us for fasting and praying. Let's not allow anything to hinder us. Let's not, let's not allow anything to keep us from coming in here and letting, letting this word break up our fallow grounds. Letting this word break. How many knows we need these grounds broken up? Hallelujah. We can't make it on just what we got. I mean, we got to let this word, hallelujah, do its job. That's so all you got to do. You know, when you have a, the sister was speaking about a procedure. So, you know, when you have one of those major operations, they, they, they prep you. They put a gown on you. And whatever it is, they, they put you an NIV inside of you. And they tell you, um, you can start counting backwards from 10. Um, and uh, the medicine, uh, the, 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 what would they call that? The anesthesia. It start to take effect. And how many know you might, you might get to five? And then you're out. And then you give an opportunity for that doctor to do what he needs to do. How many know that doctor can't perform that? So, well, as soon as we see the scalp, the scalp we, we draw back. Well, how many knows you do some fasting and some praying? So let, let this word break up them ground, let them words break up them hard places inside of our lives. Hallelujah. And the doctor can go in, hallelujah. And that thing that you've been struggling with for 10 years, hallelujah, all of a sudden the doctor just takes it in, just pulls it right out of you, hallelujah. And I believe that's what God is trying to do among us, hallelujah. And I just encourage you, let's get behind the pastor. Let's pray for Brother Blue. Let's pray for Sister Wendy. Let's pray for the whole team. Let's bind together, hallelujah. Get in here, hallelujah. And don't let nobody put you down, hallelujah. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let the devil be a bully to you. Hallelujah. Kick him in his face if you have to. Do whatever you got to do, hallelujah. Just don't let him, hallelujah, hallelujah, push you, hallelujah. Amen. I believe we pushed him back tonight, hallelujah. I believe we pushed that devil back tonight. I believe we gave him a, 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 a bloody eye, hallelujah. I believe it, hallelujah. And I know that there's something for everyone to do in the kingdom. There's something for everyone to do. You just have to uh, humble yourself and and search and seek God and let him rise that ministry or whatever it is that he has in you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Give God a hand clap. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel good. Hallelujah. Amen. God has been so good to us. Amen. I, I'm so thankful. We can all stand up. Hallelujah. I'm just so thankful for the ministry that the Lord put in front of us over here to lead us in the right way. 
There's so many people that are being led in the wrong direction. But how many knows you can you can give ten thousand dollars, or you can give five dollars, or you can give one dollar, and he's and, and, and brother Luke's still gonna preach that truth. Amen. He's not in it for the money, obviously. He knows that by preaching the truth, our souls are being saved. Hallelujah. Come.